Okay, we need to find the absolute maximum and minimum of x e to the negative 2x on the interval 0 to 5. Let's give it a go. We need to find critical points, which means taking a derivative. And taking a derivative of that function requires a product rule because we have x and e to the negative 2x multiplied by each other. I've written out the product rule here. Now if I take the derivatives, the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. And the derivative of e to the negative 2x is negative 2 e to the negative 2x. That's a chain rule that makes us multiply by the negative 2. Simplifying that term then gives us... And if we're going to set this derivative equal to 0, it might be helpful if we can factor this thing. We can take an e to the negative 2x out, and that leaves us with that. Now since this is a negative power, we could think of this e to the negative 2x as in the denominator. So we could write that derivative just like that. Now let's first point out that this derivative is always defined, because this denominator can never equal 0. A basic exponential function never equals 0. So our only critical point is going to occur when our numerator is 0. 1 minus 2x equals 0 when x equals 1 half. And we will notice that x equals 1 half is on the given interval. So we're going to plug in that critical point and our two endpoints into the original function and see what we get. When we plug in x equals 0, we get 0 times uh, 1, but that's just 0. When we plug in x equals 1 half, we get 1 half times e to the negative first power, which we can also write as 1 over 2e. And when we plug in x equals 5, and looking at those three values, uh, we can say that 0 is the minimum, and 1 over 2e is going to be the largest out of all of these, because e to the 10th is a really, really big number. Uh, so this is going to be a very small number, very close to 0. So that is going to be our maximum. So our absolute minimum of the given function on this interval occurs at x equals 0, and its value is 0. The absolute maximum of this function on the given interval occurs at the critical point x equals 1 half, and its value is 1 over 2e.